I'm Vince Gilligan, creator of Breaking Bad and co-creator of Better Call Saul. Oh, man. MeTV asked me to create a block of programming. Hello out there, television world. So I came up with a whole bunch of shows that influenced me growing up, shows that I love. Ooh, am I gonna love this? Join me and my special guest, Bob Odenkirk, for Vince Gilligan's Island of MeTV. Hi, I'm Bob Odenkirk. You might recognize me from Breaking Bad. Better Call Saul! Where I played Saul Goodman, the quote unquote sleazy lawyer. I don't know what the quotes are for. <laughs> he was a sleazy lawyer. <laughs> it's showtime, folks. And I'm a comedy writer, too. I've done a lot of comedy writing. Got two Emmys for it. So get out of the way. <laughs> and sitting with me, uh, is Vince Gilligan, who's right here. Hi. I can't break the right. <laughs> separation between us. Let's shake hands, Vince. <laughs> There's a green screen between us. We can't. Uh, we're on. We're on separate coasts, actually. Yes. You're, you're, in, you're in Kuala Lumpur, I believe. I yeah. am. Yeah. And you are in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's why you're at an angle. Um, so look, uh, Vince, you are a genius TV writer. Stop. If there's a Mount Rushmore, you're two of the heads on it. Why is that guy's head on there twice? There's only four heads in the stone. Um, but um, Breaking Bad, uh, and now the TV show that I'm starring in called Better Call Saul, which I hope you all enjoy. But we're here to talk about me TV because that's what you're watching. Uh, Vince is a humongous fan of Me TV. You want to talk about when you discovered it or how it I, made you feel? I don't remember discovering it. I just remember flipping around one day and suddenly I find this channel and, and there's a great old episode of uh, Columbo probably was on. And it, it, I soon realized this was, a, this was the channel for me because, yeah. uh, you know, Me TV, I guess what they call it that. But I, I, I watch it all the time because I love old television yeah. and these are shows I grew up on. And uh, I, I think I mentioned uh, in an interview on NPR at some point or another that how much, you know, how much emergency and, all, you know, all these other great shows uh, I was watching, MASH and uh, Perry Mason, all these shows I was watching. And I, the, the folks in Chicago, the MeTV fellas, uh, created the, the network, uh, reached out to me and sent me a bunch of swag, a bunch of T-shirts and hats <laughs> and whatnot. It's been T-shirt that I wear. Oh, man. Uh, and uh, one thing led to another, and, and here we are. And I'm so glad to be sitting here with you. And I, I hopefully by the time this thing airs, folks have seen Better Call Saul and seen how brilliant you are, my friend. Uh, oh, you are just fantastic in it. As we record this, uh, you've only seen one, one episode out of right. the ten. And I'm right. here to tell you, you are great in all of them. Well, it's very nice of you. It's the part of a lifetime. And you guys created it for me, you and Peter Gould, and and then a lot of great writers in the room, many of them from Breaking Bad. That's true. Now, uh, it's interesting that you're still uh, so in love with uh, these older shows. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know that, you know, as a writer, you, uh, you must also see how writing has, you know, evolved yeah. when you watch it, but at the same time, there are things in it that still probably inspire you and remind you absolutely. of what matters in a story and what makes great TV. Very good point. No, you're absolutely right. Good writing is good writing, and there has been good writing in television since the uh, creation of the medium. And back in the day, you couldn't get away with uh, a lot of the things we get away with on, on, on Breaking Bad and even on Better Call Saul. There's certain language and violence and, and uh, flesh and whatnot. And, and, you know, I'm not here to say that that's a, a good thing or a bad thing, but it definitely television has evolved. But right. television has always been a medium for writers. Uh, I mean, it's always been a collaborative medium. To, uh, it, it takes... It but takes writers a, are... Writers lead the production on TV, and that's kind of a well-known thing within the industry. I mean, yeah. directors of TV yeah. know that in, in television, the writers are the paramount uh, voice in the room, whereas in feature films, the director takes over at a certain point Absolutely. and really yeah. boxes everybody else out oversees structure and story and will rewrite even and yeah. ask for rewrites. Yeah. and. So TV is still a writer's uh, 
medium. Exactly. TV is a writer's medium, movies a director's medium, and, and you know, it's just, uh, that's why I wind up gravitating to TV, I guess, because I'm a writer. Uh, I'm a writer who occasionally directs, but I'm a writer. But uh, there's been great writing. We, we, we sort of been told that this is a new golden age of television, but there's been a great many golden ages, and a lot of the shows on MeTV represent prior previous golden ages of, of, of television and you know I, I came up with a list of uh, some shows uh, yeah. that we could uh, we could watch I'm not saying every single one of these episodes represents uh, necessarily the, the best episode of the show uh, you know uh, we're talking about at the moment but I, I figured this would be a fun mix of episodes these are episodes that inspired me right uh, or that have special meaning for me for various reasons now, so Twilight Zone for me Favorite show of all time. Really? Favorite show of all time. If I could have met Rod Serling, who died at age 50, died very young in 1975, I would have loved to have met him. That well, he was smoking cigarettes. Uh, he, he, he couldn't stop no, he for the length of time it took <laughs> to make a little... Could you put down the cigarette, Rod? No. <laughs> it's really, you're only going to talk for 15 seconds. I There's no... I can make it to eight seconds. That's my limit. <laughs> If the patch had existed back then. <laughs> oh, if only the patch. That's why they were working on the patch, so Rod Serling could make it through a 25-second monologue without having to puff and puff. That's true. That's true. <laughs> probably, yeah, God bless him. Anyway, he's no longer with us, but yes. he created a Terrible great shame. darn great TV writer. show. And we're going to go to Taxi next, the great comedy Taxi. Taxi. So this episode we're going to watch now is from 1982, season four. Uh, it was written by Ken Eston and Sam Simon. Sam Simon, uh, famous for The Simpsons. Yeah, one of the creators of The Simpsons. One of the creators yeah. of The Simpsons. I met Sam oh, years you? ago. Yeah, when they were starting The Simpsons. They uh, they asked me if I wanted to write on it. I was a Saturday Night Live writer. Okay. And they only had um, the demos from the Tracy Ullman show to show okay, me. Like, right. well, what is it going to look like? Or what's it going to be like? And I was like, these are pretty unlikable characters. <laughs> <laughs> they, they evolved a lot yeah, yeah, in the yeah. course of creating a TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I passed okay. on that. And then uh, years later, I was offered again to consider coming on board the staff. But at that point, uh, I knew how hard the hours were. They worked so hard okay. on The Simpsons. And I wanted to act and sure. perform more. I love performing. And I just knew I wouldn't have time to grow as a performer and do shows. And uh, my brother Bill, though, uh, eventually uh, became a writer at The Simpsons and has been there for like 11 years now, 12 years, and is a director now. There. Of course. That's so anyhow, right. yeah. Uh, but so the great got, Sam Simon wrote this. Well, uh, the great, great Sam Simon writer. wrote this. So the uh, you ever you ever have a twinge of you know I could be flying around in my very own solid gold blimp? I, I <laughs> no, not at, all, not at all. Because <laughs> those guys make bank. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. I did good. Great show.